try to handle this question. Simplify 3 root 2 plus root 3 over 4 root 3 minus root 2. Leave your answer in the form of A plus B to C. Normally when you are giving such a question, you look for the conjugate of the denominator. And in this case, the conjugate of 4 root 3 minus root 2 is 4 root 3 plus root 2. So the only thing that changes is the sign. So any subtraction becomes um, addition. So when we solve this question, when we, we start solving this question, we'll do this. Uh, we'll multiply this fraction by the conjugate over the conjugate. So this is the same as 3 root 2 plus root 3 over 4 root 3 minus root 2, multiplying the conjugate of the denominator over the conjugate of the denominator. What we are doing is just to remove the square roots from the denominator. So we are doing what we call rationalization. What we are doing is rationalization. We are trying to remove the denominator, um, the square roots from the denominator. And the fastest way of doing it is to multiply this fraction by the conjugate of the denominator over the conjugate of the denominator. What the fraction we have used to multiply the original expression shouldn't change it. So you can see this is the same as this. When we cancel this and that, this 4 root 3 plus root 2 cancels 4 root 3 plus root 2. And we have 1 over 1, which is 1. When it multiplies this original expression, it will not change it. It will not change the value. The only thing is for us to be able to remove the square root from the denominator. Now, when you multiply two fractions, the numerator will multiply the numerator and the denominator will multiply the denominator. So this 3 root 2 plus root 3 is going to multiply the 4 root 3 plus the root 2. And this 4 root 3 minus root 2 is also going to multiply this 4 root 3 plus root 2. Now, the reason why we had to multiply this fraction by the conjugate of the denominator here over the conjugate of the denominator is for us to remove the square root, as I said. But in this case, we are going to use the principle of difference of two squares. And that's exactly what we are seeing here. If we have a plus b, what's find a minus b? is the same as a squared minus b squared. So this squared minus this squared. Alright. When you do the multiplication, this term will multiply the whole of this, and this term will multiply the whole of that. That is what we call expansion. So this is the same as the 3 root 2 is going to, this term is going to multiply the whole of that. So 4 root 3 plus root 2. And this term, the root 3, the positive root 3 is also going to multiply the whole of this. So, what's my 4 root 3 plus root 2. And down here, we have positive 4 root 3, positive 4 root 3. This is negative, this is positive, this is root 2, this is root 2. Alright, it's the same thing. Whether it's the, the subtraction that comes first, it's still the same. The difference of two squares. So this is the same as 
these, these are the terms. Um, these are the terms, and uh, you realize that they are the same. The only thing that changes is the sign. Okay? The only thing that changes is the sign. The A is here, the B is also here. One is, this is addition and this subtraction. That's the difference. Okay, they are the same. A is A is A, B is A, B is here. One is subtraction, one is addition. So that's what brings us to the difference of two squares. And that's what is happening here. Four with three, four with three is here. With two, with two is here. One is subtraction, one is addition. Okay. And difference of two squares, you pick the first one, you square it. And right, so you pick the second one, you square it. Now let's continue with this expansion. This 3 root 2 will multiply the 4 root 3, and this same positive 3 root 2 will also multiply the positive root 2. And this positive root 3 will multiply the 4 root 3, and this positive root 3 will multiply the root 2. Okay. Alright, let's continue. Now, this 3 root, positive 3 root 2 will multiply the 4 root, the positive 4 root 3. The coefficients or the, the numbers in front of the square roots will multiply and also those square roots also multiply. Those numbers under the square roots will also multiply. So this one is 3 times 4, which is, which is 12. And um, 2 times 3, which gives us 6. And this one is 3 root 2 multiplying root 2. There is 1 here in front of the root 2. So 3 times 1 is still 3. And um, root 2 times root 2 gives us root 2 squared. And here we have root 3, 1 in front of the root 3 times the 4 is still 4. And um, the root 3 times root 3 will be root 3 squared. And here we have 1 times 1 which is still 1 and uh, 3 times root 2, which is root 6. The difference of two squares. When we have, when we have um, I mean, two numbers in one supply, all exponents, a certain number, let's say 2. This exponent will affect this and that. So this is the same as a squared, b squared. Okay, so this one will be 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, which is 16. And also um, uh, square root of three squares. So this will become um, sixteen. Let me write this: way. four squared root three squared. Then this one will be um, root two squared. The same thing. Just repeat the same. Thing. Now we should also know this. We should also know that if you have a square root of a number, let's say x, and you square that square root of that number, the square will cancel the square root and you're going to have a number. So if you have a square root of a number and you square it, the square will take away the square root. What is that right? Yes, it is, it is the number that will come here. So if this is A, this should be A. Okay. So that if you have a square root of a number and you, you square it, the square root, the square will cancel the square root. In this case, you are going to have 12 root 6, which is here. We still have positive, um, this will cancel that. This square will cancel the square root. This square will cancel the square root. This square will cancel the square root. So we have positive 12 root 6 here. We have uh, positive 3 multiplying 2. We have positive 4 multiplying 3. We have the square root of 6 here. And um, here we have 4 times 4, which is 16. Now we have 3, minus 3 here, we have minus 2. 
And if you group the like terms, you can see a uh, 12 root 6 in the alpha. Root 6 or 1 root 6. You can group them. Then this 3 times 2 gives you uh, 6 positive 6, and the 4 times 3 gives you a positive 12. Um, 16 times 3 gives you um, 3, 6, 18, 48, then minus 2. This is 12 plus 1, 12 plus 1 is 6, then 6 plus 12 is uh, 18. 40, 48 minus 2 is uh, 46. So this one gives you uh, 13 root 6. Plus 18 over 46. When you look at the question that was given to us, we cannot stop at this uh, step. We're supposed to write our final answer in the form of A plus B root C. Now this can also be written as 13 root 3, 13 root 6 over 46 plus 18 over 46. That is mathematics. What did I write there? If you have A plus B all over C, it is the same as A over C plus B over C. And it's correct. And that's what I've done. So this A is B, A plus B over C. So A over C plus B over C. My final answer should be in the form of a plus B root C. So this is the same as 18 over 46. Then we have positive 13 over 46 root root 6 root 6. Also, you should know that if we have A B over C, you can also write as A over C times, times B. Yes, it's true. When a normal multiplies, when a normal multiplies a function, like a normal is multiplying a function, it multiplies the numerator, the one at the top. So it is the same. I only separated uh, the 13 and the square root of 6. So we have 13 over 46 multiplying. Um, yes, we can do some cancellation here. Two goes into this nine. Two goes into this twenty-three. So finally, finally, I can write that. Our answer is uh, nine by twenty-three plus thirteen. 6 square root of 6 final answer so this is the form of a plus b root c so our a is 9 or 23 and our b is 13 or 46 and our c is 6